Right, uh, skull rock. What we're trying to do with this exercise is mobilize the upper cervical spine. What I'm going to do is have my hands like this, okay, and my thumb is going to go onto my jaw, and my fingers are going to come behind my head, okay? So they're going to. And what I'm feeling for in here is the base of my skull. You feel up your neck, you'll feel the base of your skull. You're just sort of hooking your fingers underneath it. And what I'm going to do, so that's where my, that's my hand position, jaws, on the corner of the jaw, underneath the base of the skull. The movement I'm going to make is I'm going to try and get my chin, like onto my Adam's apple. And what can help is if you don't, I don't look down to the front, I try and look at my sternum. I'm trying to look between, sort of in between my nipples, straight there. And as I do it, I'm going to encourage that movement. So I'm going to have my thumbs on my jaw, and with my fingers, I'm going to encourage my skull forwards. So it looks like this: thumbs on jaw, fingers on base of skull, look down to my breastbone, and then encourage around with my fingers, and then come out. And it's a nice kind of rhythmical movement back push and forward and i'm going to carry on like this i do you know 12 to 20 of these so quite gentle i'm not trying to crank my head over it's just a you know you get to the end of the movement and you just encourage it a little bit and encourage it a little bit so you can do 12 to 20 three times of these unless it's starting to aggravate if it's starting to get annoying or uncomfortable then you call it a day in that position Okay. Oh yeah, that's uh, Skullbrook.